So in the last couple of videos, we have created this flex container and we've talked about the display property and we've talked about the flex direction property. Now what we're gonna do is talk about some flex box properties that you can put inside the items themselves. And the first property we're gonna talk about is the order property. And basically what that allows us to do is rearrange these items. We can just move one item or we can move several items. Now by default, each one of these flex items has a value of zero in terms of the order property. It is set to zero. And since that's the default and all of these are set to zero, it will order them based off what we have specified in our HTML document. And in this case, of course, box one comes first. And so it is working exactly the way it should. But what we wanna do is go ahead and rearrange some of these flex items. So what we first wanna do is go ahead and move box four into this first position. So let's go down here. And what we're gonna do is specify the order property. And let's go ahead and give it a value of one. And then let's go ahead and save this. And then let's just refresh our page over here and you can see it didn't move. And I actually intentionally did this because I wanted to point something out. Keep in mind box one, box two, and box three are set to zero. And since one is a higher number than zero, Flexbox is working just perfectly, right? This will stay in the last position. So what we need to do is actually get a number that's lower than zero. Now we could go ahead and assign the order property to each one of these flex items. So we could give box one a value of two, box two a value of three, and box three a value of four, and then this would actually come first. But there's actually an easier way to do this. What number actually comes before zero? Well, negative one would work. So let's go ahead and put in negative one. That actually comes before zero, right? So let's hit save. Now, if this works, box four now should appear first. It will be in the first position because minus one, as I said, comes before zero. So let's hit refresh and take a look at that. It worked just fine. Now, let's say we wanted to move box three in the first position. We wanted to move this ahead of four. Well, we can do that. So let's go up here and let's go ahead and put an order property in here. Let's actually make this minus 1,000. And this is actually a good idea if you want a particular flex item to always come first. You can set it to a very, very low number. And in this case, this is a pretty low number, right? All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Let's hit refresh and take a look at that. It worked just fine. So that is how the order property works. So go ahead and play around with this order property a little bit more, maybe assign different values to the rest of these boxes and make sure everything works accordingly. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video, thank you.